residence architects in today's video i'll be showing you easy step-by-step -step tutorial of how to model dog leg staircase using sketchup so before i continue i encourage you guys to like comment and subscribe to this youtube channel because i do video like this every week hope you guys know that for you to be able to go along with us you need computer and mouse so for 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 the purpose of people that you know have computer or mouse so i'm going to drop link in the description of this video below where you can put in where you can purchase quality computer and mouse which is best for architecture so you can easily purchase it there maybe you don't have computer and mouse so you can easily purchase it there at very affordable price that is very not very cost so without further ado let's get started so what is dog leg staircase it's a type of staircase design Characterized by two flights of step that are connected by landing, forming a right angle turn between the flights. So that is the definition of dog leg staircase. So let me know. Characteristic of dog leg staircase, it has a compact design, efficient use of space, ability to fit into various architectural layouts. So it has the ability to fit into very various architectural layouts. So those are the three characteristics of dog leg staircase common use where dog leg staircase are common use dog leg staircase are common using residential home commercial building public space where space efficiency and functionality are important consideration so that is where dog leg staircase has come they are, they are using residential apartment they are using commercial building and they are using functional important aspect of architecture so let's talk about the advantage and consideration Advantage and consideration of dog leg compared to other staircase design. Ease of construction, safety, consideration, and maintenance requirements. It's easy to maintain more than other type of um, type of staircase. So let me just show you the visual example of dog leg staircase. So this is how dog leg staircase looks like. This is the first flight. This is the second flight. So that is it. So let's continue. So I know that you guys. Before you are watching, I know I assume that you have some basic familiarity with SketchUp, but I will still cover some basic tools using that we are going to be using in this tutorial. So the first tools we'll be talking about is interface overview. So you want to look at the interface. This is the SketchUp interface. So maybe for you when you open it, this is how your SketchUp interface. Maybe when you open it, your own is too big. Maybe the interface is too big. Just come to your two, under view, come to your tools bar. Come, it will be as large like you, you see that it's too big. I don't like it. Maybe for you, you like it. I don't like it for me. So I just click this one and take it back. So after that, so you have reduced it. So that is first interface we'll be discussing. The second interface we'll be discussing is navigation tools. So some of the navigation tools we'll be covering in this tutorial is we are going to be using Orbit, Pan, and Zoom. So for you to use Orbit, for you to use Orbit, Orbit is just in your mouse this rolling ball just drag it click it press and hold it and so you can orbit your work around in keep in your interface you have it here so this is it just click it but this one if you click it just right click and be dragging it around so that is orbit the second one is pan but maybe you want to pan pan is just hold your mouse and be pan just hold your mouse or you can just come to this side pan just hold your mouse and drag it so that is pan zoom maybe you want to zoom in just your mouse just be rolling it inside that is zooming maybe you want to zoom out just zoom out if you want to zoom in zoom in zoom your mouse inside if you want to zoom out zoom out so that is some navigation to be discussing in this tutorial so this Navigation tools allow you guys to navigate and view your model from different perspectives. These navigation tools allow you to view your model from different perspectives. You know, like this one now, I can view this side using my orbit tools. I can view this side using my orbit tools. So these navigation tools make it easy for us to be able to use it. So the next tools we'll be discussing here is drawing tools. That is line, rectangle, circle. So for you to use line, rectangle, circle, just your mouse, this line, in your keyboard interface this line this line press it and draw and draw line maybe you want to draw vertical line this 
it will, it will be in red. Maybe you want to draw horizontal line. It will be in green. You want to draw to this side too. It will be in blue. You get it. So you can just draw a line. That is line. In your keyboard, line is L. Let me stop it now. So you see, we are not in line. Just to press your L in keyboard. It, it will form a line. So that is the first aspect. Second, second drawing tools we'll be discussing is rectangle tools. So for you to use the rectangle tools, just press this rectangle tools, this rectangle. This rectangle, you see? Just press it. You can just draw any, maybe you want to draw like 3 meter, 3 meter by 2 meter. You get it? So, this is it. I thank you to make it easy for us to be able to get that. So, the next drawing tools we'll be discussing is circle. For what there is circle, in your drawing, there is circle here. This is circle. Under the rectangle, some you, this circle just can easily draw circle. I'll be fast. So that is it. Just click it and draw the circle. Maybe you want to use your keyboard, just press your C. It's the same thing. So that is circle in that is that is drawing tools. They are used to create the basic shape and components of the staircase. So all these drawing tools they are used to create the basic shape and components of staircase. That is why. I discuss it at the basic. So the next tools we'll be discussing is modification tools. Key modification tools to be covered in this tutorial is move, rotate, and scale. They are used to manipulate and edit geometry within model. So let me discuss move. Maybe you want to move. You want to move this. You want to move this one. Just click it. I like it. Click it like this. So for you to move it, just press your M in your keyboard. Press your M in your keyboard, or you can just if you are if you are using interface, this is it. You see, we move it. But if you are you want to use your keyboard, just click it first. Click it. If you click it, if you click it, just press your M, and you can easily drag it. So that is first modification. The second modification to be discussing is rotate. Maybe you want to rotate your. Maybe you want to rotate this one. Click it. So, for you to rotate in your keyboard, this is it. In your SketchUp interface, this is rotate. Just, just click it. And you can just come to this side. Come to second edge. You can rotate it. If it's in green interface, you see. You see. If it's in green, on green axis, you can just drop it. You have rotated it. So, let me go back. So, maybe if you want to use your keyboard, it's R. No, it's not R. So you can rotate this. Maybe you want to scale too. You want to scale your drawing. Maybe you have your some drawing. You want to scale it. For instance, this one. Let me pan it up. So for instance, this one you want to scale it. Just click it. In your keyboard, that is S. You see, it's going to bring something like this. Maybe you want to scale it. You want to make it bigger. You can do something like this. Or you can just come to the center and make it more upward. So that is modification to. So that is modification to we'll be discussing in this tutorial so the next tools we'll be discussing in this tutorial is components and grouping maybe you want to group your work you want to group it for instance i want to group this drawing now you can just highlight it you know it's not in group. just right click and click on make group so we have grouped this one so for you to make it component too after you have grouped it you can just come to this side and make it components so for us to make this one components just click it and right click you can easily make it components and you can give your components name maybe you want to give it like steer steer one steer one so you can just create it give it components it will be your at your you see now is in our component now this is it so that is components are grouping components are grouping for Repeated elements such as step and riser in staircase design. So the next tool we are discussing is measurements and dimension. So measurements and dimension tools for you us to use. The, so how to use tape measure tools? Measurement and dimension tools for us to be able to use that. Maybe you want to scale, you want to check the dimension of this this box we have draw. Just come to so your measurement your tape tool. Just click this tape. Or see your keyboard, just measure it. So you see now there is it's come to this side. 
you see that it's major it's just that is two seven two six seven eight that is the dimension of that two so the next one we'll be talking about is saving and exporting so also for you to save just press ctrl s in your keyboard and save make sure you continue always save press ctrl s is going to bring something like this put where you want to save it and click save so it's going to save so maybe you want to export your drawing to you want to export it to different side maybe you want to just come to your file come to your file come to export come to maybe you want to export it to your autocad or 2d drawing just press your 2d graphics if it's 2d you are exporting just press 2d so you can easily come where you want to save it put it here maybe you want to save it to your desktop so if you want to save it at autocad you can leave it at autocad so this autocad this is ewg if you want to save it as eps file pdf file you can easily save it as a file you want to save it so that is how to save and export so some of this sketch of basic i discussed i've done the tutorial on it so i'm going to drop link in description on this video below maybe you can just watch further and get more insights on sketch of basic so that is it on sketch of basic so the next one we'll be talking about is setting up maybe you want to set up your page like this my own is in millimeter maybe when you start using sketch of, maybe your own is not in millimeter and you want to use millimeter it depends on the one you want to use so depend on the one for, for me now i i use millimeter for my drawing so if you want to set it to millimeter maybe your own is not in millimeter just come to your file come to your come to file come to new from templates come to new from templates so you can just choose the units you like to choose so my own is in millimeter my this is millimeter so if you like you want you want to use inches this can come to inches. you want to use meter you can come to meter so that is how to that's how to set the units you, you want to use so let's dive into the tutorial and proper so all this one i just use it as a basic no, let me delete it so let's dive into tutorial and proper so I want to model Douglas staircase now so for us to do that just come the as i said earlier rectangle i have, have discussed in so press just press r i want to measure it r i want to be using 2.4 i want to use 2 4 by 4.2 enter if you guys get it so see it it's like this so let me rotate it i want to I want to rotate it let me bring it here m so move we have discussed it before so this is it i want to reverse this face reverse this face so just find the center look at for the center just click it so it's like that so i want this one to have some space let me let me give it like 50 this one to 50 so let's this is the for me i want my staircase i want the riser to be like 300 i want i want it to be like 300 put it at 300 i want the tray to be like 300 so this one to 300 this one 300 this one 300 300 300 300 300 so this one i just want this one to be one so that is my landing 1.2 let me be 300 so that is it so for us to model it just press your r rectangle you want to form the staircase now just press your r rectangle this one this one is like this so i want to make this one group for you have discussed this just double click it and right click make group so we have made this one group so after making this group we still need to make it component because i want it to continue 
I want it to continue to continue so for you to for it to continue so just i don't discuss the continuous aspect in the basic so if so stay attentive and listen to the continuous aspect now so i'll make it group so let me make it component just click it make components can just name it create it so this one i'll make it component now so i can just pull it up the rise i want to make it like 150 so I've made it 150. So since I've made it components, I can just come to here, move M. So for us to copy, just press your M and press your control. Control, drop it. So I want it to continue. Instead of me copying, copying everything once. So for it to continue, just press your S and I'll go to 10 times. S10. Hope you guys get it. And press enter. You see? Has continue instead of us copying one by one again, and so it's because of we make it component is why that function work. So this one now this is where it's going to stop. Instead of us creating another part of landing, so we can just this one make unique, make unique. So it has different from another aspect. So I can just come scale this one. I can just scale this, scale it and drop it here. So you see, this is the first flight now. This is the first flight. So we have draw the first flight. Let me delete all this one. So let me delete this. So we have draw the first flight. So that is it for the first flight. Maybe you draw the first flight like this. You still have some additional details to put. So for us to put some additional detail, maybe for instance, let me just this one, let me move it out a little. Let me move it out a little. So we have drawn the first flight. So this is the first flight. So in the definition, no, in the definition, I told you that dog, let's say, is type of staircase design characterized by two flights. This is the first flight. Of step that are connected by landing for me a right angle turn between the flight so this is the first flight this is the landing this is the landing so we want to form the second flight now. so before we form the second flight I want this, this one is not is not regular I want it to to be more regular so for us to do that just come to this side just click one just click one and come to your M you see come to m and bring it down this is not what i want to do so you see click this one like just make sure it's in is in blue click it and press your m drag it down Still not what I wanted to do. Let me go back. M. You see, uh, yes, this is it. So just drag it down, drop it. So we are form. You see that everything is as rhyme now. Maybe. You want you don't want this one you want to delete you want to delete this aspect you want to delete this aspect so that is it we have modeled it so all this one we don't need some of it so for us to delete it just come here just press your e and press your shift because if you press this one it's going, everything is going to delete so control just press your shift and delete it so it's going to delete some of the aspects you don't like so this one too you can just come Press your E, that is zeros, and press your shift down. Hold your shift. You see, we have deleted it. We have deleted it. So that is it. We have formed the first flight. So we want to form the second flight. So for us to form the second flight, just click make this one good. Make all this one good. Click everything. Click everything. Right click, make group. So make it group. So you can just copy. For us to copy, just press your M, press your control. 
So we want to we want to mirror this one to form second flight. So we want to mirror it to form the second flight. So for us to do that, so you can just for us to for you to mirror, you can just press your scale S X press and come like this. I'm checking it. Okay. Let's go back. So, press your S. Press your... That is scale. So, for you to just press this one. And press minus one. So, we have mirrored this one. So, we can just come here and paste it. At our drawing, you can just come and paste it. So for you to paste, this one is not straight. So we need to balance this to straight because we don't need it in. I need to make it unique. Make unique. So I can just L. So I this one I don't need it. So this is it. So I can just copy this one now and go and paste it as my as my second flight. Let me copy it from this side. Copy. So this is it. So we have formed the second flight now. So we have formed the second flight. So maybe all these lines too, you don't need it, you want to delete it. So you can just press your E and press your Shift, delete it away. Maybe it's still there, press your E, press your Shift, delete it. So it's going to delete everything. So for this for this one, I don't need this one, add it, add it down. I will make it unique too, make unique, make unique. So this one, I can just pan it. It's half. I've pan everything. So let me just. Yes. So that is it. You have formed our dog leg staircase. You see that? You have formed it. So that is how to form dog leg staircase. So, for instance, maybe you want to you want to add your Andre. You want to add Andre to it. So I'm going to do that one in another group. So this one is first group. This one in another group. So I'm going to create the Andre now. So you can just form your C circle. I want my circle to be like five, five by five, five by five. It's like, let me use it like so you can just pan it up. So let me make it group. Make group. Make group. So let me just. So this one. Pan up. Pan it up. Drop it. So this one too. Pan it up. So that is it. You can just come here now. And just continue to form your. Just copy. you guys see or or let me do like this this one let me make it components make components great so this one now i can just drop it here
drop it here so i can just continue so i can just press s9 you see is at the edge of so here yeah, i want it to stop here so i delete this one this one you see so that is how you can just form your andre the way you like you can just form the andre the way you like so you can just be copying it one by one and be forming the andre how you like it so for this side too you can just this one you can just choose one pick one pick one can just pick one so just click it to drop it and press your s8 you see so that is it hope you guys get it now so that is andre so for this staircase aspect we want it to be we want to give it some material and texture you want to give it like material texture for it to give it for it to give it material texture just come here make sure you click it click everything click inside so if i click one aspect now it's going to give other aspects so i want to give it like ties come to your texture come to your material aspect come to your texture so i want to give it like ties ties texture let me just choose one so i can just give it like ties or if you like you can just give it like wood wood ties can just give it like wood ties so that is it so this one is because i make this one unique everything is supposed to be formed that wood ties so if i give this one now you see that it's formed that wood ties including the second flight it's because i make that one unique that is why it's not like that before so you can just give it like wood ties give it material so maybe this one you want to scale it you can just come to this select maybe it's too small come to this edit maybe you can want to give it want to make it bigger can just make this one like 500 you see that it will be bigger you see edit okay 500 you see that it's bigger if you give if i give it seven 600 you see it's more bigger so you can just scale it that is it that is scale aspect can select maybe you have some you have some picture you want to use maybe you have some picture you want you have some picture of material you have in your maybe you want to work you want to use the texture you can just come to this side you can come where your material is just choose it and click it we use the material so that is it for dog leg maybe you you want what to run it you want war to run it so you can just come here click like maybe two to five for my sign in my sign click this, this place two to five yeah two to five yeah two two to five so let me just move it around i'm just doing for maybe you want to add war what with so you can just come take it up you see you see it's inside water now so you can just work on it you see you guys liking it is like it's making sense now so you see it you can just so i encourage you guys to experiment this take is i don't i purposefully don't complete it so in the next tutorial i want to check how you complete the staircase because it's from all the basic all the basic we learned earlier in this tutorial just use that basic to complete this andre and put the material so yes let me just add some material maybe you want to add material too so you can just add your own material too maybe yeah i want to add this material you can give it that land that is landing this one is the first flight this is landing this is the second flight so that is it i've given it material now this one i want it to be up here so that is and our next one 
our slab will be at the top. Slab will be here. So for the, maybe you want to create slab. Let me demonstrate how to use that slab. Maybe you want slab to be here. That is 150. 150. 150. So slab will be like here like this. So and after you land, you just land on your slab. So slab may cover it to this side. So that is it. Hope you guys have learned one. So I encourage you guys to experiment on staircase and sketch up model for you to be able to learn more so and, and i encourage continuous learning so be continuing learning about sketchup so you can you are going to become an expert on it so that is it on sketchup and in the comment section i encourage you guys to experiment on on this sketchup and dog let's take it we have modeled together experiment it put andre and put all this texture scale scale it and put all this material let's look it at the comment section of this video so that is it for this tutorial so i encourage you guys to like to subscribe to this video channel for more architectural tips and inspiration because i do video like this every week and don't forget to drop comments in the comment section and don't forget if you don't have computer i am going to computer and mouse i'm going to drop link in the description of this video below so for you to purchase quality computers very affordable price and it's going to be good for architectural aspects. So that is it for this tutorial. God bless you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.